meant for the fifth best? Brick like me. Maybe I'm biased, but I really think Modern Simpsons outdoes itself in different styled episodes like this. There's just never a boring moment in this episode. They're constantly switching styles between Brickimation and Simpsons animation, sometimes even melding the two together. <laughs> Me. While at the same time they're unraveling a mystery that leads to a surprisingly action-packed conclusion. And you know the other part I like? To quote you, Jims, this certainly isn't jerk-ass Homer we're getting here. This is a Homer with integrity that shows he can be a kind dad and still be very funny. I assume Lisa told you about the pretend tiny town she's building with her overweight father. Oh yeah, it's gonna be mucho fresh. In fact, I call this Homer at his most charming and enjoyable. Yeah, jerk-ass Homer is nowhere to be seen in this one. There's definitely a good ratio of jokes that way up here. I found that from the seven minute mark onward, almost every joke was worthy of at least a smirk. Many of these jokes are done to the clever use of animation. Did you guys see that? Oh, it's getting worse! I personally really enjoyed as well that the story was based around Homer and Lisa. Homer and Lisa are probably my favorite team-up combo in The Simpsons. I swear I could have watched a whole episode of them just playing Truth or Dare at Homer's work in their sleepover. I'm going again! <laughs> so I always like seeing an episode based around their bonding. There's a memorable message too about letting yourself and your loved ones grow up and move on in their life. And not getting stuck in a time from our past. I feel like Brick Like Me gives us a good combination of the best qualities of modern Simpsons. It retains intelligence in writing, is true to the characters, and is still genuinely touching and beautiful at moments, just like in very early Simpsons seasons. Also, a much bigger budget lets modern Simpsons get much more creative with its art style, as we can see here. Personally, I call Brick Like Me one of the best modern Simpsons episodes we've gotten in years. And for the fourth worst, the greatest story ever doed. By the end of this episode, Homer will think he's the Messiah. Yes, I am dead serious. Messiah away! <laughs> I should point out, obviously, my dislike of this episode has absolutely nothing to do with Israel itself. While I don't know much about the country, it looks like a place rich in history and stories, and certainly not worthy of such a horrendously written travel episode. Why drag Israel into this mess? Some people like the concept of this one, but personally, I felt this was dead on arrival. You see, Flanders believes in an afterlife and wants to get Homer into it, so he decides to take the Simpsons to Israel for some reason. Is anyone else kind of confused on how this holy place is meant to get Homer into the Christian afterlife? I mean, I know it's a holy place, but how's that meant to help? Regardless of what viewers think of the story, there just aren't many jokes here that didn't leave me groaning. Yeah, some of these jokes get really cringy. This episode gives birth to one of the most annoying, ear-grating voices in the entire history of The Simpsons. And he has a shocking amount of long-winded speeches with no interruption to break the irritation. Come on, shut the fight, let's go! But it says here in the brochure... Bonjour, 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 who love you, bonjour? I'm sorry to draw so much attention to this one guy, but his only shtick seems to be being rude to tourists. The disappointing thing about it is that they could have done something legitimately interesting with this backdrop. These places do have a rich history. Even Homer's messiah complex is based on a real thing. If you enjoy learning a bit about the history of Israel, do you really want to hear it from a character this annoying? I have nothing against his voice acting. I love me some Sasha Baron Cohen. I just think this is a very poorly written character. He didn't really have much to work with here. And apart from that, the 